Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop of the Dirty Jon Snow from Castle Black from the Series 4 of Game of Thrones Funko Pops. I was a little reluctant to get the regular Castle Black figure of Jon Snow because I already have the previous Jon Snow figure, and I didn't feel like I really needed both. However, I thought he goes really well with Sam, like so well that I feel like just having Sam without this version of Jon would be a little weird. And luckily Hot Topic made a dirty exclusive version, and I am a whore for exclusives. What I like about this one is his outfit is all kind of like muddy and dirty. The regular version of this is all like black and gray tones, but they've really muddied him up. Uh, in fact, when I was hunting for these, there are kind of various levels of paint quality on this, and I picked the muddiest one I found. There were some where the, uh, the chest plate here are more gray than brown, or like there's like less brown highlights, but this is a really brown one, and that's kind of what I was going for, was the dirtiest one I could find. Um, and I think they did a good job with that. I mean, his, the kind of glue from his black sleeve is showing right there and making him look really black, but other than that little black corner, he looks pretty dirty. Now let's take a closer look at the, uh, actual sculpt of his uh, body. I think they did a good job with like the chest plate and like all the little lines on the shoulder there. Some really good tiny sculptural work going on there. Also the way that the little pattern flaps down there look good. Um, sword looks good. Basic kind of Funko arms down position which I dig. Uh, boots look fine. The head sculpt appears to be, at least from the hair, the same previous sculpt used before. You can kind of see that they're pretty much the same. Although I think the one I have is painted a little better than the first one. But yeah, I like the head sculpt. I think it's fine. Uh, the paint on this is worth talking about. Uh, the belt buckle isn't perfectly painted the way some of the other ones I saw were. The other ones had uh, the black belt was, wasn't was so brown and dirty. But again, I like that this one's just kind of covered, kind of douched, if you will, in brown paint. So if you want the belt more visible, you can be on the hunt for that. But, the use of gray and black and brown looks good, um, and I think they painted his head really well. Uh, I, I lucked out and got a good hairline. I had to hunt for some. Just like the previous Jon Snow, I had a hard time finding Jon Snow's the first time around that had a good beard line. And this was the same case again. Uh, I saw these at Hot Topic, and some beards were bad. Many beards were good. It was the top hairline that was a mess, and I managed to find a good one. Another key difference between this one and the first one was this one had really tiny eyeballs. In fact, you could see the sculpt of the original eyeball bump and how the paint was smaller. This paint is more up to standard with the regular Funko Pop eye shape, but I also dig the angry eyebrows. I think he looks better in this one. And I dig this one a lot. I think he looks great. He's cool. I had my doubts about getting this one, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thanks for watching.